And this is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today we are building an epic yacht and raft. Let's get to it. So I like doing building challenges and considering that raft has a creative mode, I thought it would be fun to set a challenge for myself to see if I could build a real life yacht inside raft. So I did a quick Google images search and found a picture of this yacht here and thought, you know what? That looks like an awesome one to build and it looks possibly doable inside this game. So I set out to build it. The first thing to do was to decide on how big I was gonna make this thing scale would be an important factor in creating it. I didn't wanna go too small and I didn't wanna go too big. First thing I did was start to lay out the foundation for it and I found the center and marked it with the old ruggedy looking wood tile or wood foundation instead of the fancy wood foundation because I knew I was going to build the rest of it in the fancy wood. Getting the size down and laying out the foundation was relatively easy as far as this build goes. After that, I had to start designing the walls and the overall layout of the outside. This posed a little bit of a challenge because I wasn't quite sure how to go about it. I tried a couple of different size walls and was trying to look at the picture and see how it looked in game and it wasn't quite looking just right. So I tore things down, built things back and then it was like something just clicked and I realized I was building for aesthetics and not for usefulness. So it didn't matter if I did things like build a false bottom in it because wasted space didn't make any difference. We had unlimited resources and we were building for looks. So it was at this point I started to lay out the half walls and surrounded everything in the half walls because I realized we were actually going to need a false bottom in order to pop the raft up or the yacht in this case up off the water a little bit more so that I could get the back part of it to look right because the back part slopes down and in order to do that I would have to raise our our bottom floor up so that's what I did once I had the wall all the way around it I needed to support the inside of it and I started off doing it the most terrible way possible using the pillars instead of the beams and then I quickly realized I was a doofus and doing it this way was the hard way and I started using the beams instead when doing a build like this it can be relatively overwhelming because it's just such a large build and there's so much to do it can be hard to figure out where to start. So the best thing to do is just pick one small part and focus on that and then the rest kind of starts to come together. So in this case I figured I would start with the back first because that seemed to be the easiest part to start with and then I could work my way from the back to the front. And because I have already pushed the lower part of our raft up, so what is essentially our bottom floor up a little bit, this would be much easier to do because now I could build downwards and create that platform and slope that we see in the image. Now that I had the very back of the yacht done, it was time to work our way towards the front. And that meant doing some curvature work. And that was a bit challenging. Eventually I figured it out, but this game does not lend itself to curvature curves it doesn't really like it but if you use the slanted roof you can manage to get some patterns that somewhat resemble curves it's not perfect but it is enough to get the job done for what we are trying to do here next it was time to block out the lower floor I didn't worry about a lot of detail here I just knew that we needed walls at this point so I just started to go through and place the two high walls so that we would have the bottom floor blocked out now I had an idea of how high the yacht was going to be so I continued to block out the rest of the walls doing the second floor. The third floor that kind of overhangs the second floor, which is technically our uppermost floor, the third floor is, that would come later on in the build. For now, my main concern was to get the biggest chunk of the ship done because the front part of the boat was going to need some more detailed work. After doing all of that and getting the floors laid out, I had a good idea of where everything was going to go at this point, so it was time to continue to work on the back. There's a lot of slopage here on the back and it was really challenging to get the proper overhangs to get them to look right, to get these balcony areas that you see here in the back of the yacht. I'm not going to lie, it took a little bit of trial and error, but I eventually got something that I think looks pretty accurate. Once I had the back completed, it was time to start blocking out the rest of the raft, and that meant doing a absolute ton 
more beam work in order to create the bones of the ship so that I could then fill in each of the levels flooring. Now it was time to do the front of the ship and little did I know I was going to make a rather large mistake here that I was going to have to go back and correct once I was done the majority of the build. It wasn't too big of a deal because I was able to fix it but it involved tearing off a chunk of the ship. I filled in this area with windows but then I later go back through and knock those out and just have empty space. So this game doesn't have any type of actual real window, so there's no glass. It would have been really nice to have had glass pieces to work with here because the build would have looked a lot more accurate. But in the end, leaving the open holes didn't turn out too terrible. It was at this point I realized that this game had a feature in creative mode that would change my builds forever, allowing me to speed through the rest of this build. And that is the no clip mode. If you hit the letter N on your keyboard, you detach the camera from your body, allowing you to just freely build and move the camera around. Once I realized this was a thing, the build started to rapidly come together. I was able to quickly and easily place beams and pillars to create the overall shape that I was looking for. Then I could go back through and rapidly fill them in with the different pieces in order to create the finished product. I still ran into a few issues on the third floor. That overhang was a little bit difficult because of the way that this game works and the overall shape of it, how it slopes. It has a lot of rounded pieces to it. It took a lot of trial and error to get it just right. We ended up with a bunch of dead space. That overhang that you see there has a windowed area in it that in this game, if I was to create it would actually have to be a full wall size but I ended up using a half wall just to create the illusion of that area you can't actually go down into that part I did hollow out the inner part closer to the front of the ship adding in stairs allowing you to make use of that area to climb up to the different floors once I had the majority of the front of the ship laid out I then started to work on the rest of the little details for example the side area area where it has the two little balcony platform areas. I then went back and cut those out of the ship and then created those, added a little bit of the rope fence in the actual or on the actual yacht itself. They have a glass wall stopping you from falling overboard, but we don't have that option in this. So I felt like the rope fence was the best option. At this point, it was time to lay down the paint. There was a ton of painting that needed to be done on this ship. The whole ship, all of the walls had to be painted white and then certain parts had to be painted black and it took a little bit to do even though you can paint in no clip mode which made it a little bit easier to do the walls because I could just run down the side of them relatively quickly there was still a lot of surface area here to be painted then I backed up the no clip camera and I positioned it in the same position that the drone that took the original image would have had to have been and I noticed that the front of the ship was not correct. It was actually too short. And this is the mistake that I had talked about earlier. So now I had to rip the front of the ship up and extend it out further so that it would be the correct size. Once I had the front of the ship fixed, it was time to start decorating. I gotta say there was a few things that are missing from this game that I kind of expected there to be in here, like lounge chairs. Sure, we have couches and we have normal table chairs, but we don't have any of the lounge chairs that you would expect by like poolside or at the beach. And we have rugs, but we're missing just straight towels. I would like to see some towels to place around because I mean, you're gonna get wet. You're gonna wanna dry off. And these are some of the things that we can see in the original image. We don't have a lot of detail from the original image, but there are some lounge chairs. I don't know what those chairs, I call them lounge chairs, pool chairs. You know, what's on the screen right now? These things. We can see them on the original yacht image. So I just did my best to fill in everything with little bits and bobs and random things, grills, whatever I could use to fill in the space. There is a lot of a boat here and not nearly enough things to fill in all of this ship. So I just filled in what was necessary to get the proper screenshots similar to the original image. And I think overall, I was pretty successful. And 
and that is going to wrap it up for this one. If you like this video and you found it enjoyable, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to become an official channel supporter, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.